Hey everyone, this is Shana Na, and today I have a What's Growing On episode. And you probably would think, what is growing on at this time of year? Well, I've fought in the garden. I let the grass win pretty much. The sweet potatoes are still out there, so we'll be checking on those whenever they're ready for harvest. But I'm not too optimistic about it. Um, because the ground is so packed over there with all the rain and the harvesting we had to do in the mud. So, uh, the season, the growing season is not over for us. If you're in the south and we're in zone 8A, you could have a fall garden. So, now I'm so excited and I'm looking at my seeds again as things that didn't pan out well for me and, and uh, things that I wanted to add. And so, I was looking online, because I don't want to plant in the garden for right now. And they have these grow bags. They have them in all different sizes. And uh, you can even make your own grow bags. Which I have some uh, fabric that you put down to keep the weeds down, and you can make them out of that. But I ordered this, this from, from Amazon. And I think I need to... Oh, okay, here it is this is it came in a five pack it doesn't say how many gallons it is but i think this is either seven or ten gallons so i can plant potatoes i got some japanese sweet potatoes that I, that's been needing planting so i'm gonna plant them in here and um, some other things so i'm gonna show you how i germinate my seeds and some of them that i that I need to plant directly then i'm gonna do that too these are the japanese uh, sweet potato slips that my brother started and I just watched a video on how to just break them off you know I was like really okay let's try it I might, might do two bags of these Roots falling. This is what we got so far. I think this is a 10 gallon. Yeah, yeah, I remember ordering the 10 gallon. So let's see how this is gonna work, okay? Okay, so I now I have all five bags has soil in it. So these three right here. I am going to put some stuff in it, but I got to decide the design of what the companion planting that I'm going to do in them. And also, we need to get more soil, a lot more, because I have five more bags coming. So, I got to be a little mini garden. Let's see how good we do this year. Hey. Uh, I forgot to show you the gift that was given to me. Ah! That frog scared me. We have a lot of those, but we still have a lot of pests. But uh, it's so humid out here, y'all. You could cut it with a knife. Look, 
Look at where my BFFs grew for me. Now, she says she doesn't have a green thumb. Can you guess what plant this, what kind of plant this is? Anyone? Mango. Now, I don't know. And look what she grew it in, y'all. Then she gave me some seeds, but I don't know. I don't know if they're going to make it. I, you know, maybe I kill mangroves, but mangroves. Mangoes. Uh, I read up on the tree, and it may survive. They can't stand cold below a certain temperature from what I read. So, but we might get lucky. Look at it. little leaf. It's making a new little can you see that? And I think this is so cool. So she, you know, saves the seed from eating the mangoes. And then the seed has a hard shell over it. So she takes a knife or whatever tool and then cracks the hull off the seed and plants it. Just plants it. She said they just growing like crazy. Hers are, I, I think hers are much bigger. But I am very appreciative, BFF. Thank you so much. So I didn't want a day to go, another growing on video to go by without telling y'all about that gift. She, I'm just so happy. <laughs> So let's look at, uh, now we're going to look at, I don't know if I've shown you this yet, but this tomato plant that I transplanted, the cherry tomato, in fact, cherry tomato plant that I've been having trouble keeping alive. This one is right here. I don't, let me get my, so I can see what I'm showing you. This one right here is that cherry. And this one, I think is a cutting from the Roma. Look, look at that sucker. I'm gonna have to clip it. I wanna make some more tomatoes. My mama has grown a tomato plant through the winter, the next year, in a, in a five gallon bucket. Through the winter, and the next year it was full of, full of tomatoes, and she cut it a sucker. She started it from a sucker that she cut from another plant. Ain't that something? Now, also in this, this thing let me in this pot I have basil basil is a good companion plant for tomatoes from what I read so I took it you know I have a couple of more to basil plants that I'm gonna plant with some tomatoes I think you could plant what else can you plant in there garlic I think and uh, onions but I have no garlic to plant yet see this Malabar spinach Look at what it's doing. Wrapping itself all around the swing. It is growing crazy. So I, I pulled a leaf from here uh, yesterday and I was trying it. I don't like it. So if it's got that many vitamins and stuff for me, I will put it in the juicer with something else. It's a beautiful vining plant though. And I heard they don't like cold weather, so, yeah. Lemon cucumber, I'm going to try that again. I planted some, I, I grew some and planted them out in the garden, but the gar grass overtook them. So, I'm going to do them in the grow bags. This is butternut squash. Um, kale oh yes lettuce of course some more of that Paris Island lettuce that I had this spring try the carrots again in the grow bag maybe a little Swiss chard here and there in spots spinach I'm gonna try spinach again and uh, some flowers These will pollinate my cucumbers. I mean, attract the pollinators. 
and uh, beets. I had one deformed alien beet this year so far. And uh, I, I do want to try, try the brock. See, this is just wish. Some of it's wishful thinking, I know. But um, they got the snow peas. What is this? Oregano? Pak choy and bok choy. I got both of those. I got some bird's eye pep chili peppers. And uh, I'm going to really make this ground work for me. This little Chinese broccoli. I got some broccoli and cauliflower, but I don't know. We'll see. But yeah. So let's start. I'm going to show you how I germinate my seeds. Usually I use a paper towel, but got all of these coffee filters. So you need coffee filters or paper towels. You need water. You need your seeds. Um... I like these little bitty snack size Ziploc bags. You don't have to have anything big. They're, those are cheaper. A Sharpie because you want to label the bag so you'll know when you planted it and uh, what it is. So, let's start. This is two of them. So, let's say we're doing the, the cucumber. I want to plant about... It's good to read the back of the pack too sometimes. So I want to plant about three to four. Well, let's say three seeds. They got plenty. If you can see those in there. And I'll plant four because you never know when they might not all germinate or you know might get sick. So I'm gonna do four. Uh, hey Garden City if you're watching um, She has some beautiful lemon cucumbers and they were just producing really well So I was like, yeah, that's what I want to do again. So here are the seeds I'm gonna fold it You don't have to fold it like this if you don't want to but just I want to make sure they stay in and you probably want to do this in the kitchen but I just wanted to show you this this is where I'm going to be doing it and I need some kind of bowl or plate to put it in so I won't make a mess but I'm going to show you I get the um, coffee filter wet or the paper towel whatever you're using and it doesn't have to be super duper duper wet Trying to get some of that water off as I pour too much. See the little seeds peeking out? Four seeds. So, I'm going to open it. Well, I'm going to label the Ziploc bag. The zip, I'm going to put. Let me let you see me do it. I'm going to put lemon. Cucumbers. Uh oh, got some water on it. And today is August the second. Okay. And I don't put these in a the direct sunlight, but I do like to put them in a warm spot. The last time I germinated them, I put them on top of the fridge. But the thing about that is you can't forget them. You know, because out of sight is out of mind a lot of times. And that is that. So that's what I'm going to do with some of the others. I even germinated carrot seeds and dill seeds. Okay, peeps, I'm going to sign off now. 
because I got a lot more seeds to get prepared for germination. So until next time, love ya. Bye bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share my videos.